Hello, this is Reza Rad from Radacad. Uh, in this video, I'm talking about a report we created from some statistics generated out of a Power BI survey uh, about what your salary in uh, in 2020 is actually we are presenting in 2021. Let's check it out. Uh, last year we did this survey once uh, at the end of 2019 we started the survey at the beginning of 2020 we published the report uh, this year uh, we did it again so we had a call for um, call for filling this form uh, the link to the to this form is available down in uh, description below you'll find my blog and from there you'll find the link to this form it's a quite simple form you enter your salary in your local currency country and and some information like that uh, and that would lead to a live report generated out of that uh, real-time actually report uh, which uh, push this information using uh, Microsoft uh, Power Automate called Flow as well um, into a real-time streaming data set and uh, that shows the report just without any cleaning or anything like that. So uh, what uh, we have done is to create a clean version of that report because like some people entered all kind of uh, values and numbers so we cleaned those information we used some ways to adjust the currencies because they've been all in local currencies now they are all in uh, US dollars uh, there are multiple pages of this report the link to the report is also down in my description uh, in the description down in uh, my blog uh, so this report at the moment actually shows everything in US currency based on some currency exchange provided from a website called xe.com uh, using some power query functions uh, to loop in through and find uh, the exchange rate based on the day that this ran and and provide this result uh, there are a few things to consider by the way like first is that we did some uh, outlier detection that is uh, basically Layla's magic wand to provide those kind of information um, like here you see that there's a slicer for that if I uh, remove that I very likely get numbers that might not be that much valid so the outlier detection helps you to get more valid numbers the count of responses in each country is also important uh, start with higher numbers uh, for example, if in a country you have just two responses, you can't really rely on the result of that. So if if we have like more than 25 responses, probably better, like um, you, you can play with this, how many responses you got, the type of company, you can slice and dice based on that. Um, there are different tabs, different pages in this report. Make sure, go and check it. We had more than 500 responses already. Um, and would be good to have more responses. You can encourage others to do that, share this information. We'll make sure that if we have more responses, we'll fit that into this report. Uh, there are multiple factors uh, analyzed here. As you see so far, we had more uh, participants from uh, USA than other countries, their skill set based on what they think, their job titles. Um, we also have that visualized on a map uh, and same filters, of course, uh, the ranges that we see these salaries on. Uh, and basically there are some drill through report out of it as well. Like for example, if you can, if you find a country, you can uh, go to a drill through country details and see the values over there. Uh, what our values entered. We didn't ask for any name or any uh, confidential information. So these values are all uh, just uh, general information that everyone can see. A uh, few other things about this is that um, this, like any other uh, data set, has some uh, 
some information which might not be valid. Uh, we did our best to clean this data. Another thing is that uh, in one country, different cities, you might see different salary range based on different role as well. Uh, so that is why we asked for zip code in this map. You have the option to uh, drill to the next level and uh, get the values with the zip code, considering if these zip codes are entered correctly. So go ahead and play with this um, report and see uh, what you can find. Let us know in the comments below. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos about Power BI.